everyone, happy day 170. This morning, after I dropped my boys off at school, I decided to go home because I will be going to Mass tonight for my church's mini mission. Every Tuesday, Father Andrew has invited a different priest to come, celebrate Mass with us, and then give a talk on a specific topic. Tonight, we have Father Drowen coming. I am excited to hear what he has to share with us this evening. When I got home, I found a cozy spot on the couch with my dog, Henry, read the daily readings, listened to my Catholic daily reflections, and listened to Bishop Barron say the rosary on YouTube. In today's gospel, we hear Jesus telling the crowds and his disciples that whoever exalts him will be humbled, but whoever humbles himself will be exalted. Once again, his words are right to the point, and if I'm being honest, sting a little. To me, being humble is one of the most difficult virtues to practice. It takes a whole lot of work and awareness. The best lesson on humility that I ever learned was on the day that I did my first confession. One of the things Father Aggie gave me for my penance was to do a random act of kindness. Seems simple enough. I'm a nice person, I thought. Later that same night, as I was on my way to my usual Thursday night AA meeting, I stopped at my favorite coffee shop to get a coffee before the meeting. This coffee shop not only sells coffee, it sells baked goods and my favorite thing in the whole world, warm, soft, salted pretzels. Most days they are all sold out by the evening, but this particular day, they had one left with my name on it. You would have thought I had won the lottery. As I skipped out of the coffee shop with my cup of joe and pretzel in hand, I saw a local homeless woman walking by. I looked at her, looked at my pretzel, and then decided to give it to her. Did I want to? No, not at all. I wanted it all for myself. But I knew she was probably hungry and would appreciate it. It could be my random act of kindness, I thought. So I went over to her and handed over my winning lottery ticket. She looked at me surprised and asked, what is it? I told her and then she said, well, I guess I'll take it. I don't really like pretzels that much, and I usually try to eat a little healthier. Then she walked away, pretzel in hand. As I stood there in the street with my chin on the ground, so many things ran through my mind. How could someone that doesn't know where their next meal is coming from act like that? She didn't even thank me. I should ask for it back. Who does she think she is? Mm -hmm. Then, out of nowhere, in the middle of all the chaos in my head, I heard a voice ask me a question. Who do you think you are? All of the noise in my head immediately stopped. I knew then that God was teaching me a lesson on humility. That day, instead of getting to eat a nice warm pretzel, I got to eat some humble pie. I hope all of you out there have a blessed day 170. Please know that I am praying for you always, and I will see you tomorrow.